New 2017 Honda Civic, Prices, Release Date, and Q&A. The all-new Honda Civic is just around the corner, we have all you need to know, including prices, specs and a Q&A with the project leader. After recently going on sale in the US, the all-new Honda Civic is here. The new 5-door hatchback will go on sale in Europe in early 2017. The official details came after months of teasers, concept cars, and even eagle-eyed readers spotting us spec cars out on the road. Now, after its debut at the 2016 Paris Motor Show, we have all you need to know. Honda claims that the all-new Civic is a significant step forward for the brand, with the new car benefiting from the largest single-model development program in the car's history. It's possible that the new Civic could make it into the British Touring Car Championship, with Honda's success in the sport seen as an important branding exercise by Honda's head of cars in the UK, Phil Webb. He told us, we always have an open mind and we're in those discussions. The contract's on a yearly basis, so you never know. New turbo engines for the Honda Civic At launch, the Ford Focus rival will be offered with a choice of two all-new turbocharged petrol engines, but no diesel initially. Honda predicts the best seller will be the 127BHP 1.0-liter 3-cylinder turbo, which can be paired with either a 6-speed manual or CVT automatic gearbox. A more powerful 180BHP 1.5-liter 4-cylinder engine will also be available with identical transmission options. Performance figures and fuel economy will be announced closer to the car's on-sale date next year. As the Civic will be sold across 70 global markets almost unchanged, Honda will initially focus on the two petrol engines. However, by the end of 2017 buyers will also be able to spec a heavily revised version of the current 1.6-liter IDEC diesel. We expect it to offer improved fuel economy as well as a boost in performance thanks to the option of Honda's efficient 9-speed auto box. Speaking with Auto Express, Chief Operating Officer, Katsushi Inu, admitted Honda is also considering adding a hybrid model to the range to compete with the Toyota Prius. He said, after the Volkswagen emissions scandal, we have to think about it. We are big on hybrid in Japan and the US, we have that technology. Engineers are also claiming big advances in comfort, handling and refinement for the new Civic. According to project leader Mitsuru Korea, the new car features heavily revised suspension featuring a complex independent multilink setup at the rear, as well as four-stage adaptive damping on higher grade models. The all-new platform is 16 kilograms lighter than before, while torsional stiffness has been improved by 52 per center. That should help make the car more responsive and more engaging from behind the wheel. As for the Type R model, bosses say it has been engineered alongside the standard car from the outset for the first time but we don't expect it to launch until next September. We saw a concept version of the Type R at the 2016 Paris Motor Show. The new Civic is lower, longer and wider than any of its predecessors. Visually, it's almost unchanged from the Civic prototype shown at the Geneva Motor Show earlier this year even the dual exhausts have been carried over to the sport spec version you see here. Lesser trims will get a softer design with less aggressive bumpers. Style-wise, this sport model is designed to act as a halfway house between entry-level cars and the forthcoming Type R. Despite the lower roofline, Honda claims there is more room inside than before as the wheelbase has been stretched by 30 millimeters. The repositioned fuel tank does mean Honda's clever magic seats and flat rear floor have been sacrificed, but there's a compact and innovative sliding and removable parcel shelf. With the rear seats in place Honda claims boot capacity of 478 liters, which is just one liter bigger than the outgoing car, but still significantly larger than the 380 liter boot on the VW Golf. A more spacious Civic Tourer estate model is at least 18 months away. As well as the exterior styling, the interior has been totally overhauled, too.
quality has taken a big step up, while a new electronic parking brake on the center console has allowed designers to incorporate a sliding armrest and deep central cubbyhole. The conventional dials have been replaced by a TFT screen that can be customized to show everything from speed and fuel economy to SAT NAV and media. Honda Connect now comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, too, while model comes with Honda Sensing with collision mitigation systems such as emergency braking, lane departure warning and lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control and traffic sign recognition with intelligent speed assist. Honda is confident the new car will gain the full 5-star rating when assessed by independent crash testers Euro NCAP in the coming months. New Honda Civic on the road As well as having a nose around a new Honda Civic, Auto Express was also granted a short passenger ride around the manufacturer's test track at its production facility in Swindon. Our car was fitted with the all-new 3-cylinder 1.0-liter turbo engine, driven by engineering project leader David McDonald. While we weren't allowed to drive the car, it gave us a good impression of performance, ride, and refinement. At idle, the tiny turbo engine is all but silent. Pull away gently and little changes, while harder acceleration offers almost four-cylinder levels of smoothness. It's not harsh like some three-cylinder rivals, and it didn't feel like it needed thrashing to extract decent performance. Cruising between 40 and 50 miles per hour, the engine remained hushed, while the ride had a firm but not uncomfortable edge to it. Body control also appears to have been improved over the current generation car, too. In terms of perceived quality, the new Civic appears to better the existing car in every area. The central touch screen is better integrated and while the graphics aren't enormously different, it's slicker and easier to use. The bright dials looked great from the passenger seat, too, though we weren't able to flick through the car's different functions such as NAV, phone, or media controls. British-built Honda Civic, Swindon Production confirmed. Honda has also confirmed that the 10th generation Civic will be manufactured for global markets at its UK manufacturing plant in Swindon. The Swindon plant is Honda's flagship European manufacturing facility, and its confirmation as hub for building the Civic will allay some fears regarding Honda's future investment plans in the UK post-Brexit. Honda Europe's president and chief operating officer said, Honda has made significant investments in this facility and this next step is an important endorsement of the skills and expertise of our workforce. We're also setting out a clear and sustainable future role for HUM, broadening our export markets beyond Europe. Q&A with Mitsuru Kuriya, Project Leader of New Civic Mitsuru Kuriya was project leader for the current Civic, and was well aware of the areas where the car needed to be improved. Q, the decision to go to turbocharging is one of the biggest changes in the new Civic. Why did you go down that route? A, early in the development process I tried the latest evolution of the 1.8 liter normally aspirated petrol engine and I realized that it wouldn't be good enough. We needed a stronger spread of torque, and that's what we've tried to achieve, while still keeping the smooth delivery character of a normally aspirated engine. Q, how have you tackled that issue? A, we've used quite a small turbocharger, and it has an electronic wastegate to help us control boost. It's a setup designed to improve response. Q, some customers will bemoan the lack of the magic seats that made the previous car so practical. Did you consider keeping them? A, we couldn't. We knew we wanted to lower the driver's seat and once we did that, we were no longer able to have the fuel tank positioning that allowed the magic seats. We have tried to give practical touches to make up for the change, though, we think the wide boot opening, low loading lip and a tonneau cover that can be opened from the side are evidence of this.